203. Hi there. I'm trying to, uh, going to show you this unit that we have. It was the backbone of my business for uh, 25 years. We did barbecue work, and of course, in doing that, we had to cook a variety of different foods. So I'll try to walk you around the vehicle so that you know what we have. Starting here, this is a, uh, a box that we load up with wood and we're able to light it and it would put smoke into the machine if that's what you want, if you want the smoke. Put any kind of good grade uh, hardwood in it and the wood goes in and I'll show you where it exhausts the back. Coming around the side here, the thing I can show you here is we, we refurbished the whole machine and since I used it for a number of years, we decided to make sure that we built something that was safe and usable for you. So we took the wheels all off and we replaced them with new tires that are able to carry twice the weight that the machine is. And of course, they're, uh, they're, they roll along with bearings in them so you don't have to really bother with them too much. Coming around to the back of the machine, show you the inside. Now, remember we use this machine for only large parties and in doing that we would take the machine out to the site and some of the things that the capabilities of the machine here I'll read you, read you softly. This, uh, this will handle, you see right now there's a single shelf on here but these little horns hold, hold another shelf on top of that and we didn't want to put them all on here because normally they people use the first shelf only but some of the things that you're able to cook in here are uh, the slabs of ribs uh, capability is 210 slabs of ribs at one time or 1400 pounds of pork at one time you can put 1140 chickens quarters on the, on these racks here and about 600 whole chickens. If you got hamburgers to serve, that's fine. 1,100 hamburgers fit in here. Pork chops, 1,140 pork chops. 700, can you believe it? 700 ears of corn will fit into this machine and 1,500 pounds of beef. Now, you know, you uh, wonder just how do I cook and handle all that food in each party? I don't have that big a party. But what you can do is what we did. When we had a smaller event, we would prepare the food here and then we would chill it down and put it in our freezer. When we went out to the smaller parties of 50, 100, 150, whatever they were, we would reach into the freezer and pull the product out that had been cooked in here and then thaw them out and we would serve off of a smaller piece of equipment right onto the site. But if you get a large party, and you want to feed a lot of people. We've served as many as a thousand people at one setting. Naturally, this machine was the boss on that site because we couldn't possibly cook and handle that much food unless we processed it all at once on here. As I say, where you see these horns on here, that means that there's another shelf that goes right on top of that. So you have double shelves, and that's why you can carry so much food inside of it. It's, uh, some of the things you can cook in here, or you know, even if you took, bought smaller pigs, you could split split them in half and lay them on the shelf, or just about anything. Let your mind run on that. Above here is where the smoke exhaust and goes out. By dressing that up and down, you can make the smoke come through there faster, or it can slow down. There's a uh, control. The only control on it is a two-way switch right here, and that up there, as you can see it, is the huge motor that turns this. You can imagine with all that stainless steel in there, it takes a powerful motor to turn it. And it's only 110 volts because we didn't want to get into the process of having to have odd voltages and such. These protrusions out the side are where the bearings are that hold the, turn the spit that lets the, the shells re, uh, go around. In here, <coughs> As food is cooked and you need to stage it or hold it for any amount of time, you can put regular hotel pans down through here or baking sheet pans down through here 
hold it while the other other stuff is still cooking at the same time. Now you wonder how do you get all of the heat into the big machine like that? Well, right here is the place where all the tubes go in here. These are five pro, uh, uh, iron, iron uh, tubes that are fed by these burners here. You notice we have two 100 pound cylinders of propane gas on here. So that when that lights up, the heat goes in there and like to say you can adapt the amount by the opening and closing of the damper. On the side of the machine here is a thermometer that tells us what we're cooking at. Usually around 400 plus degrees because we want to get them cooked and then we can always turn the machine down and uh, get it to, uh, to soften, it, soften the heat that's inside there. We also have a, a extra place to hook a hose on here if you would want to set up a stir fry uh, station or anything else that uses propane. So at the same time while that's cooking, you can be cooking in the pan. The idea is to keep busy. When, once you're in motion, people get excited about what's going on. And with that excitement, you see, they remember you and they tell other friends who are having uh, different uh, get-togethers. And in doing that, of course, you know, you have that you have your people that you've already catered to, they'll be as salesmen to other people because they've seen this enormous machine and thought it was just terrific. Now how do you get it around? How do you get it from one place to another? Very simply, it isn't like a tractor trailer. It's uh, they built a single hitch on the front. You need a hitch on the back of your truck, a pickup truck or a, a smaller truck, and hook it onto there. The electric hooks onto the pickup truck as well and there are two chains to, to contain uh, to make sure that you're hooked together in case it should jump off of there and that's how you get it from site to site you don't want to get involved in having big tractor trailer equipment because that takes a lot of time and expense to run so with your one vehicle you take this out with one piece of equipment you can cook all the food you could imagine and we just gave you a partial list you may come up with some additional ideas as well you just let your mind wander and think, and you see what it is that you can do with this fine machine.